Hello, church family. As I was preparing for this devotion, I was taken back to a conference I attended a few years ago where the message changed my life and it taught me new perspective on finding Jesus in difficult times. The message centered around the passage, Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8. It reads, There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to born, a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. We often say that our lives are marked by seasons. As God's children, we're not only marked by physical seasons of changing climates, we're also marked by seasons of the soul. For our soul, the season of fall is marked by transitions and the feelings of uncertainty. The season of winter is marked by loss and feelings of sadness. Spring is a season of new beginnings and feelings of wonder. Summer is a season of richness described with feelings of pure joy. As much as we wish we could choose our season of the soul or look to a calendar to find when difficult seasons are going to end, each of us are in a season. We're not alone in them, even though the seasons are different. We delight in spring and summer. We reflect on the wonderful days in those seasons and eagerly await their return. The seasons of winter and fall, however, are met with eagerness for them to end and for more joyful and exciting times ahead. It is hard for me to think that while it's 90 degrees outside, many people are finding themselves in a season of winter. As a country, we've been marked by the grief from social unrest from the events surrounding the death of George Floyd, on top of already dealing with several life changes over the past three months. It's been a season of job loss, life loss, and loss of physical community. Our ways of life have been shaken to the core. Sadness is the prevailing emotion. When I heard the message at the conference a few years ago, I was in a dark, cold, and lonely season of winter, much like many of you might be finding themselves in today. I remember when I was sitting there and the speaker told me that one thing is promised in the season of winter, abundance. Abundance, I remember thinking, how can I find abundance when my soul was in such a dark place? The speaker then brought us to the passage, John 10, 10. It says, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. In the King James translation of the verse, the word abundant is used instead of the last word full. The Greek word for abundance is perios, which means surplus. Even when our souls are in winter, we have a surplus of Jesus. He is always there for us to lean into, receiving all that we need even if we are still left wanting more. When I think about the season we are in now, I find myself not asking, when will all of this be over? But rather, Jesus, who do you want me to be at the end of the season? And what lessons do you want me to learn about you through the process? No matter what season of the soul you find yourself in, Jesus is inviting you to come to him, and he is desiring to be with you.